Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook. National Game. I can modify the blind box probability. Chapter 81. The content of this level is restraint. Restrain your heart, you can pass the level in one hour. Although I don't know why Shen he appears here, it is obviously not the important issue now. But how to solve the immediate crisis? Lin Miaodong was originally under the suppression of Qingxin Shenfa. He can also control his own reason. But since Shen he appeared, Lin Miaotong felt that she might lose control at any time. Originally, an ordinary man would not be able to shake Lin Miaotong's state of mind too much. But, Shen he had the marriage certificate she sent on him. Such subtle differences, it might not have been that big in the past. But at this moment, it was enough to be the straw that broke the camel's back. Lin Miaotong was lost. In fact, Shen he fell faster than Lin Miaotong. He didn't even realize that there was something wrong with the flowers in the surrounding flower beds. I just feel that the charm exuding from Lin Miaotong is getting bigger and bigger, making people want to get close to her, pity her, and even, ravage her. The body unconsciously moved closer to Lin Miaotong. He lowered his head and opened his mouth, sucking tightly on Lin Miaotong's fragrant and soft red lips. The two faces were almost touching, eyes facing each other. A little tear shone in Lin Miaotong's eyes, and she bit her red lower lip tightly with her teeth. There was both charm and struggle on his face. The cool and indifferent aura on his body had long since disappeared. Seeing Lin Miaotong's adorable and beautiful appearance, Shen He could no longer hold back. A dazzling plum blossom slowly bloomed on the pure white clothes. Lin Miaotong finally managed to free herself from the effects of the love flower. Looking at Shen He on his body, Lin Miaotong bit her lips tightly, her beautiful eyes turning red. There was only the flame of anger in his eyes. I'm going to kill you. Lin Miaotong opened her eyes and broke away from the effect of the love flower. Feeling the strangeness in his body, he shouted hysterically. While Shen he was kissing, Lin Miaotong wanted to resist, but she also understood that it would be useless no matter how much she resisted now. Apart from the anger in my heart, I am already a Shen he person. Not only did he draw his own marriage certificate from the fairy blind box he sent out. And now even my body has been lost to him. Maybe, this is fate. Sorry, sorry. Shen he apologized quickly, but his body was still out of control. Lin Miaotong's little face turned red, and she was so pretty. After a long time, Lin Miaotong's brows relaxed. Husband. Lin Miaotong bit her lips tightly, looking extremely delicate and charming. Ding, congratulations on completing the limited time task. You will be rewarded with the permission to modify the blind box once. The system's beep sounded in Shen Yi's ears. But Shen He has not closed this information for the time being. Now that he has the authority, there is no need to worry about opening the blind box for the time being. What matters is the situation at hand and how it will end. Lin Miaotong stretched out her hand and the dress immediately covered her snow-white body. The expression on his face also returned to calmness. There was just a lingering blush on her cheeks that lingered for a long time. There were also hickeys left on his neck, all indicating what had just happened. We will discuss our matters later. Let's continue the trial first, Lin Miaotong said calmly. Although the voice and tone were the same as before, there seemed to be no emotional fluctuations. But her eyes became a little wandering. Every time I see Shen He, I subconsciously avoid it. Good, Shen He replied. In fact, he didn't know what to do. His initial thought was actually just to complete the task and obtain modifier permissions. But after actually meeting Lin Miaotong, really, it is difficult for a man to not be moved after seeing Lin Miaotong's appearance. He admitted that he was a little obsessed with Lin Miaotong's appearance and figure. All in all, I have mixed feelings. Let's go. Lin Miaotong, who had some inconvenience on her legs and feet, walked towards a door not far away. Two stone gates appeared after Shen He and Lin Miaotong completed in-depth exchanges. Lin Miaotong glanced at the adjacent stone gate, and then looked back at Shen He with some concern. I don't know what I thought of, my pretty face turned slightly red, and I walked into a stone door on the right. It was a stone door engraved with water element patterns. Until Lin Miaotong left. Shen He was still a little dazed. He actually, really slept with Lin Miaotong, the most beautiful woman in Bayun town and the tutor of the piano playing profession. 
Thinking of the softness of Lin Miaotong's body and the lingering touch of her bones, Shen He couldn't help but burst into a self-satisfied smile. Suddenly, Shen He shook his head several times in succession. Although it's great, you can't indulge in it. Once the unleveled modification permission is obtained, it's time to open the blind box. Shen He did not enter Shimin for the time being. Instead, he took out a blind box from his backpack. Dog's Immortal Blind Box. Dog's Immortality No Level Red Ghost Weapon Explosion Rate 0.0001% Purple Equipment Explosion Rate 0.9999% Explosion Rate of Blue Equipment 9% Green Equipment Explosion Rate 30% White Equipment Explosion Rate 60% It's the same as the blind box in Dragon's Wrath. The probability is one in a million. Shen He glanced at the lottery probability and said. Then, reach out and start adjusting the explosion rate. Dog's immortality no level red ghost weapon explosion rate 100%. After completing the explosion rate adjustment, Shen He took a deep breath. Selected to enable blind box. The moment the blind box was opened, a server-wide notification suddenly sounded. It is exactly the same as the unleveled red ghost weapon obtained before Dragon's Wrath. Ding, the unleveled red ghost weapon, Dog's Immortality, was obtained by someone, and the Dog's Immortality red ghost weapon blind box will no longer be revealed. Ding, no level, bite, three consecutive system prompts rang in everyone's ears. This notification sound once again shocked all the high-level officials in Wangji. The red ghost weapon blind box actually released another unleveled red ghost weapon. Has anyone gotten so lucky again? The previous turmoil caused by Dragon's Wrath has gradually dissipated. It surged again. The heat finally dropped, but it rose again. Of course, this has nothing to do with Shen He. His eyes fell on the new levelless red ghost weapon that appeared in his hand, Dog's Immortality. The third unleveled red ghost weapon. I hope it's not a red ghost weapon exclusive to any profession. With the previous red unleveled ghost weapon, Snakes Hidden, I could only get the basic critical hit rate bonus. While talking, Chen He clicked on the attributes of the unleveled red ghost weapon of Dog's Immortality. Dog's Immortality. Level. Zero. Type. Jewelry. Attribute bonus. None. Passive. Immortal. When active in the wilderness, login time is not consumed. Initiative. Immortal Shield. Generates an invincible shield with a duration of 1 second and a cooling time of 10 seconds. Equipment wearing restrictions. None. Equipment Introduction. One of the powers extracted from the ancient wizard after sealing the evil dragon. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. When looking at the panel of the red ghost weapon of the immortality of dogs. Shen he immediately cursed. Although there is no attribute bonus, there are active skills and passive skills of dogs immortality. A bit too outrageous. Passive skill, immortality. As we all know, login time is the base currency of the wilderness. Anyone who has no login time will be completely kicked out of the wilderness. The current real world is basically composed of minors under the age of 18. But pay attention to the wording here. Basic. It shows that there are still older people, and the number is not too small. These adults are the eliminated ones in the wild world. Once time runs out, you will be kicked out of the wilderness. Unless someone is willing to use a super rare prop called Return Stone to bring you back but except in special circumstances. Who would be willing to use this ultra-rare item to give losers a chance? No more idle talk. With this immortal passive, Shen He doesn't need to worry about being expelled from the wilderness because he has no login time. It is equivalent to saying that he has eternal life. This alone is passive. It is worthy of the name Red Ghost Weapon. Not to mention active skills. Active skill, immortal shield. This is also an incredible ability. Now, the skills and equipment that can make you invincible are very powerful. For example, before, Banksia Chingcheng relied on an invincible skill to achieve counterattack and publicity. And, be aware, most of the invincible skills have a very long cooldown time, which can easily last several minutes, or even half an hour. And the invincible skill in the blind box of Dog's Immortality. But there is only 10 seconds of cooling time. Simply don't be too strong. After playing with the dog's immortality unleveled red ghost weapon in my hands. Shen He stretched out his hand. 
shout out the zodiac compass. Then, this dog's immortality was embedded in the position corresponding to the zodiac sign, dog. That groove fits perfectly with the immortality of dogs. The third zodiac red ghost weapon has returned to its place. Do it all, Shen Hekai continued to walk forward. In front is a stone gate. There were originally two stone gates, but the other stone gate disappeared after Lin Miaotong entered. Only a stone gate remains. Chen He walked towards the stone door with steps. After Chen He crossed the stone gate. The stone gate disappeared. Chen He turned around and saw only a cold wall. In this regard, Chen He did not show any surprise. I've encountered it once before. After seeing the road behind him disappear, Chen He paid more attention to this new stone chamber. This is a very empty stone room. It is exactly the same as the previous stone chamber. There are just no tables, chairs and smokers. What is the content of this level? Shen He looked around suspiciously. Just when Shen He was confused, something changed in the stone room. The wall flipped. A huge bookcase appeared in front of Shen He. Although Shen He was not annoyed by the book. But I saw so many books displayed. I still felt an ominous premonition. Shen He's premonition soon became a reality. Ding, here are 200,000 Go records. The time flow rate in the stone room is one one hundredth of that outside. You have 1,000 days to study and challenge. If you defeat me, you can get the Earth Dragon Ball, whether with chess skills or force. A man dressed in black and gold walked out of the bookshelf. He came to Shen He and said, You have 1,000 days to challenge me with chess or force at any time. If you succeed in the challenge, you can leave with the Earth Dragon Pearl. The man in black and gold clothing said, Shen He finally saw it. This Dragon Ball trial, Earth. It seems to be just to test your Go skills. The boss set before was so difficult. I'm afraid it's just to block the force plan. But Shen He seems to be an outlier. He actually managed to force his way in through force. The designer of the level seemed to have anticipated that there might be aliens passing the previous level. Therefore, I added the levels that Shen He is currently encountering later. Still the same choice as before. Beat this black and gold man in chess, or, defeat him. Of course Shen He chose the latter without hesitation. Are you kidding me? Let him, a rookie who only knows the basic rules of Go, win this kind of Go trial. Shen He was not confident to that extent. Moreover, there are actually 200,000 copies of chess records prepared here, as well as a 100th time flow rate. It is made clear that it is reserved for challengers. If the situation can be broken by force, Shen He did not hesitate and chose force to break the situation. It's just, the results were a bit disastrous. The moment the battle begins, Shen He didn't even see clearly how the other party took action. I only saw a figure flashing in front of me, followed by a pain in my chest. Even Invincible didn't have time to open it. The health bar is down to the last one point. Ding, the challenge failed, do you want to challenge again? No. Does this mean the challenge has failed? Shen He refused to give up and waited for his blood volume to return to full value. The challenge was launched again. Ding, the challenge begins. The system's voice rang. Shen He only saw the body of the man in black and gold clothing opposite him swaying. A huge sense of crisis came. A mortal shield. Shen He activated the newly acquired active effect of dog's immortality. Invincible for one second. Sure enough, the next moment. A finger, he clicked on Shen Yi's eyebrows. But it was blocked by the invincibility effect. Ha, huh, the man in black and gold clothing let out a light sigh. But Shen Yi's invincibility only lasted for one second. A flash of light flashed from Shen Yi's eyes. Dragon blast. A thick beam of energy shot out from Shen Yi's hand. But the man in black and gold clothes looked like a ghost. The figure disappeared instantly. I'm here. The voice of a man in black and gold clothes came from behind. Shen He turned around subconsciously. Pa, after one second of invincibility. A brain collapsed and hit Shen He's forehead. The fingers of the black and gold figure flicked. Shen He was directly ejected. The blood volume dropped to one point. Ding, the challenge failed, do you want to continue? No, Shen He gasped for air. This level of difficulty seems to be simply not within the reach of him now. The gap is too big. If I were you, if I were you, I would first put away this half of fairy blood. Do you know how attractive this thing is to the old monsters of the third level? 
The black and gold figure said. Ah, what? Chen He was a little confused, not knowing what the black and golden figure was talking about. Suddenly, Chen He lowered his head. He saw a blood stain on his leggings. This is, the blood that flowed down Lin Miaotong's snow white thighs when she broke Lin Miaotong's virginity. It was stained on his equipment. Shen He reached out and touched the blood on the leggings. Fairy's blood, half portion, the purest blood of the reincarnated fairy when he was human for the first time, the fourth generation material. Restriction. Only player Shen He can use it. Just when Shen He didn't know how to put away this blood stain. The black and golden figure threw a small bottle to Shen He. Just align the mouth of the bottle. It's only useful if you get the other half. Shen He subconsciously caught the bottle. According to the words of the man in black and gold clothes, he pointed the mouth of the bottle at his leggings. A suction force penetrated from the mouth of the bottle and absorbed the dried blood. Thank you, thank you. Shen He quickly said thanks. The other half, should be in Lin Miaotong's hands, or to be precise, on her dress. Wait a minute, what do you mean this is? Fourth level material. Only then did Shen He realize it. What exactly is the thing in your hand? Fourth turn material. Countless people were stopped at the level of second transfer materials. Shen He's father, Shen Yangming, just didn't have all the materials for his second job. So there is no second transfer until now. Of course, this is Shen Yangming's own statement. The difficulty of the second turn trial is also a level that is not easy to pass. The scarcity of second level players is caused by many reasons. 4. 4 transfer materials. Shen He's voice stuttered a bit, he had just turned around. Well, this immortal product is enough to become the highlight of the fourth level formula. You are also a person with great luck, and you can even meet the reincarnated fairy. The man in black and gold clothes said with some emotion. Shen He wanted to ask something more. But the man in black and gold clothes has lost interest. In other words, the only thing that could attract his attention was the half of the fourth level material, blood of fairy. Seeing the man in black and gold clothes, he stopped talking. After Chen he collected the half of the fairy blood. His eyes began to focus on the bookshelf on the wall. According to what the previous system said, a total of 200,000 chess records are collected here. Now, if you want to pass the test, it is basically impossible to rely on force. The gap between him and the black and gold man was really too big. Even if you use invincible skills, you will only live for one more second. Dragon Blast couldn't even hit. What else are you using to fight? But, 200,000 chess records. Shen He seemed quite hesitant. Although here, the flow rate is only one hundredth of the time. But, let's try it. Isn't it just a game of go? Shen He gritted his teeth and walked towards the bookshelf. In another stone room, in front of a huge bookshelf. A girl with an airy temperament in a white dress was reading the contents of the book in rapt attention. Not long after, Lin Miaotong gently closed the piano score in her hand, and the densely packed notes on it jumped like elves, as if waiting for her interpretation. I really can't bear to leave here. Lin Miaotong looked at the bookshelf reluctantly. Even if I try my best to write it down. But there are too many musical scores here, and I still haven't memorized much. Moreover, although it is only 1% of the flow rate of the outside world. But, Shaolin, Lin Miaotong silently recited Shaolin's name. She had to get back as quickly as possible. Made up my mind. Lin Miaotong came to the table calmly. Ten green jade fingers are placed on the strings. Take a deep breath, looks confident, let's start the assessment. Lin Miaotong said to a mature and beautiful woman in aqua blue clothes sitting opposite. Aren't you going to continue? Your level is more than enough to pass the assessment, but here is the music score that the Lord has collected for thousands of years. The beautiful woman in aqua blue clothes asked inquiringly. No, I have more important things to do. Lin Miaotong said firmly. In that case, let's get started. After hearing this, the beautiful woman in aqua blue clothes stopped trying to dissuade her and signaled to Lin Miaotong that she could start. Lin Miaotong's expression immediately became solemn. Ten jade fingers gently plucked the strings, emitting a crisp and sweet sound. The melodious sound of the piano flows in the stone chamber. After a long time, the song ended. Lin Miaotong smoothed the vibration of the strings. When she looked up again, then he discovered that the beautiful woman in aqua blue clothes had disappeared. 
a fist-sized blue dragon ball appeared opposite her. At the same time, a stone door appeared that allowed one to leave. Thank you, senior. Lin Miaotong bowed slightly and saluted. Finally got the water dragon ball. Shaolin is saved. After thanking him, Lin Miaotong picked up the water dragon ball and walked towards the teleportation stone gate. But just when Lin Miaotong was only one step away from walking out, her steps paused, turning back towards the air, her pretty fair face turned bright red and asked a question, Senior, how is he, my husband, doing now? Old Zhang, come on, come on, I suddenly have some inspiration, please accompany me for the next sentence. Shen He put the chess book back on the bookshelf. Then he walked towards the deserted stone room. In less than three seconds, the man in black and gold clothing appeared on the opposite side of the chess table. He called himself Zhang Haibai, and Shen He immediately called him Lao Zhang. This is Shen He's 42nd day in this stone room. Converting it to outside time, a flow rate of 100th is actually less than half a day. 42 days. I read thousands of chess records. I don't dare to say how powerful I am, but at least I am much better than my novice self back then. Guess first. Lao Zhang grabbed a few chess pieces in his hand. Shen He took out a chess piece and placed it on the chessboard. Lao Zhang then opened his palms. In the palm of the hand are four chess pieces. Even numbers. Shen He guessed wrong. The first move belongs to Lao Zhang. The first step is star position. If Shen He remembers correctly. This is the 125th game between him and Lao Zhang. You don't have to guess to know the results of the previous 124 times. If he had won, he wouldn't still be here. This 125th time, no surprise, I still lost. Total loss. Old Zhang. We are already acquaintances, please let me go. Shen He dropped the chess piece in his hand and surrendered. The difference in strength is a bit too great. No, this is the rule. Lao Zhang shook his head slightly and refused very seriously. Shen He was suddenly a little discouraged. But there is nothing we can do. He couldn't beat it again and again. If he could beat it, he would have passed the level long ago. I can't even play chess, and the difference is visible to the naked eye. I don't believe it anymore. I can't defeat you anymore. Chen He said angrily. Then, he immediately devoted himself to the chess game again. Start learning. I don't know when Lao Zhang disappeared again. In the entire stone room, only Shen He was left, and there was the sound of books being turned over. This time, Shen He didn't even remember how much time had passed. Until Shen He closed the last chess book. Before he knew it, he had roughly read through all 200,000 chess records. At this time, Shen He was horrified. I'll go, I've finished reading the books here, even though I just took a rough look at them. Shen He took two steps back in disbelief. Because the environment here remains unchanged, Shen He's perception of time has become extremely blurry. Plus, you won't feel hungry. This is, how long it has been. Quote. Shen He said to himself, there are 200,000 chessboard books. Even if you read 1,000 books a day, it will still take 200 days, right? You have 15 days left. A familiar voice answered Shen He's question. Shen He turned his head sharply. Then I saw Lao Zhang dressed in black and gold clothing. What, are you kidding? More than 900 days have passed. Shen He said in disbelief. Even though he said so. But Shen He already believed at 80% in his heart. Otherwise, there is no way to explain why he read 200,000 chess records. Flow, a flow that has lasted for more than two years. Lao Zhang said to himself. In the flow state, the perception of time will also change. I have seen many people use the flow state in battle, but it basically cannot last for long. This is the first time I have seen this situation like yours. Lao Zhang tried his best to explain in a calm tone but his mood swings couldn't be hidden at all. What kind of monster is this? It's amazing that the flow can last for such a long time. Although this kind of flow is very fragile, as long as there is a slight disturbance, Shen He can fall out of the flow state, but it is still very unnatural. Come on, Lao Zhang, let's play the next game. More than 900 days have passed. Chen He once again challenged Lao Zhang. This time, Shen He seemed very calm. A smile appeared unconsciously at the corner of his mouth, making Lao Zhang feel a little uneasy. The two came to the table. Guess first. 
Shen He grabbed a handful of chess pieces from the chess box. Lao Zhang hesitated for a moment and took out two chess pieces. Chen He smiled and spread his palms. In his palm are five chess pieces. In odd numbers, he won. Black moves first. Pa. Shen Hexia showed his first move. Half an hour later, Lao Zhang wiped the non-existent sweat stains on his forehead. Pap. Shen He stretched out his hand and threw it away. He threw his black piece on the chessboard and gave up. This time, I lost again. But Shen He was not discouraged at this time. A pair of eyes were filled with excitement. One more, old bell. Shen He said with more courage as he fought. Although he is still no match for Lao Zhang. But Shen He felt that he could already clearly see Lao Zhang's chess moves, as well as the purpose and function of every move made by Lao Zhang. A 200,000 copies of chess records. Although it was only a rough understanding, it already gave Shen He an extremely solid foundation. What's left is that a strong enemy is needed to fully stimulate this foundation. And Lao Zhang perfectly meets the requirements of this, strong enemy. Come, Lao Zhang replied. Then he waved. All the black and white pieces on the chessboard are returned to their own chess boxes. One day, two days, three days. Shen He loses dozens of games every day. Wait until the fifth day. Pa, a white piece fell from Lao Zhang's fingers. It fell on the chessboard. Make a crisp sound. You win. Zhang Haibai said congratulations. Although Shen He is still not as strong as him now, he can barely be considered a person at his level. He just caught a loophole that was not a loophole. He could already see the final result. Keep going. He will lose half a penny. It was a fluke, just a flash of inspiration. When Shen He heard this, he slightly cupped his hands. It was really a fluke. In terms of overall strength, he was still no match for Zhang Haibai. It was just a sudden flash of inspiration, and I won just once. There is no need to be modest. Since there is a first flash of inspiration, there will be a second one. You passed this trial. Zhang Haibai flicked his finger. A black gold ball the size of a fist was shot towards Shen He. This is the final reward of this trial. A red quality item. Earth Dragon Ball, the Dragon God sat down with the Earth Dragon King, one of the four dragon kings, and left the dragon ball after his death. There is just a brief introduction and nothing else. Just like the five element snake stone Shen He had seen before. I only know that it is of high quality, but I have no idea of its use. But it doesn't matter, just have the things in hand. The main reason is that the current level is too low, so I can't know the use of these things. I will know in the future. Old Zhang, thank you very much, farewell. Shen He bowed his hands towards Lao Zhang and prepared to leave. But at this time, he was stopped by Lao Zhang. Wait a minute, here is a letter from your wife. She asked me to give it to you when you left. Lao Zhang said. One sentence made Shen He's mind buzz. What, lady? When did he, not, Lin Miaotong, a letter was delivered to Shen He's hand. There was a line of small words written on the envelope in Wan Shou's handwriting. Father-in-law kisses. My dear father-in-law. Chen He read the words on the envelope silently. My heart felt unknowingly hot. The warm and snow-white memory of Lin Miaotong's skin-to-skin -skin contact welled up. Call. Chen He let out a slight breath. Suppress the throbbing in your heart. Open the envelope slowly. Pulled out the letter paper inside. The letter paper is neatly folded. There still seems to be a faint aroma left. Chen He unfolded the letter. I saw the writing on the letter paper. My dear husband, since you have my marriage certificate in your hand, and you and I have been married as husband and wife, then you are my husband-in-law. The reason I came here this time is to get the water dragon pearl and go back to save Shaolin. I'm going to take the first step and leave this letter. Please come to Zukin residence to find me after reading the letter. My wife, left behind by Lin Miaotong. Shen He read the contents on the envelope from beginning to end. When, she left. Shen He raised his head and asked. More than 900 days ago, converted to outside time, I left more than 9 days ago. Zhang He He replied. Passed directly, Shen He asked without thinking. Left more than 9 days ago. This shows that the trial is not a problem at all for Lin Miaotong. As expected of my wife, she is so amazing. A flash of complacency suddenly flashed across Shen He's face, and he said triumphantly. You're not bad either. It only took you less than three years to reach this level. 
Zhang He He said. He he, that is, as expected of me. Shen He raised his chest slightly and accepted Zhang Haibai's praise. Oh, Lao Zhang, I'm gone, I might, miss you in the future. Shen He suddenly felt a little sad. He and Zhang Haibai could barely be considered friends. Once I leave this time, I'm afraid there will be no chance to meet again. Maybe, maybe, we will meet again soon. The corners of Zhang He He's mouth suddenly turned up. Shen He has known him for so many days. This was the first time Shen He saw a smile on Zhang Haibai's face. The smile made Shen He feel a little nervous. By now, Zhang Haibai also seemed to realize that he had let something slip. Then he couldn't help but wave his hand. Chen He immediately felt that his vision went dark. Wait until your vision is restored again. Just found out. He returned to the entrance of the trial. In front of him were four caves. Boom, Chen He stood in front of the cave, his heart full of doubts. Zhang Haibai's last words made Chen He very concerned. What do you mean, we will meet again soon? He always felt that there was something in Zhang Haibai's words. He took a deep breath and prepared to step into one of the caves to explore its secrets. However, just as he was about to take steps, a violent tremor suddenly struck him. The earth began to tremble, and stones fell from the roof of the cave, making a dull impact. Chen Yi's eyes widened. He tried to steady his body, but the strong vibration made him almost lose his balance. What's going on? Shen He forced himself to calm down. He watched helplessly as several cave entrances in front of him began to collapse. Huge rocks and soil came in like a tide, instantly burying everything. The dust filled the air and the vision became blurry. Shen He choked and coughed. He backed away desperately, trying to escape from this dangerous area. But the scope of the collapse was getting bigger and bigger, and he felt that he was being pushed into despair by an invisible force. No way. Could it be that my first death after turning around was here? For the first time, such a thought flashed through Shen He's mind. After one turn, there is a death penalty. The penalty level for dying once is minus one, minimum level 40, one to two pieces of equipment will be dropped, 10% of items will be dropped from the backpack, and there will be an extra month of login time penalty. And a seven day period of weakness. Within seven days, all attributes will be reduced by 30%. If you die again within the seven days of weakness, it will be bad luck. The death penalty is doubled, and the new period of weakness is doubled. The cost of death in the wilderness is very serious. Don't want. Shen He struggled hard. He protected his head with his hands to avoid the falling stones. The invincibility effect of the dog charm is somewhat useful here, but it is not very effective. By the way, teleportation array. Hope ignited again in Shen He's eyes. The teleportation array that Lin Miaodong brought herself to. His heartbeat accelerated rapidly and his breathing became rapid. He didn't know if he could escape this disaster, but he knew that he had to do his best to fight for the chance of survival. Shen He ran quickly in the direction he came from. The vibrations around him became more and more intense. You can already see the rocks behind blocking the path Shen He ran through. Shen He ran all the way and finally saw the fluorescent teleportation array. You can see an envelope that is exactly the same as before, and a few fluorescent stones. Was left on the teleportation array. It was left to him by Lin Miaotong. There was no time to read the letter, so Shen He grabbed the letter in his hand. Then, with quick hands and feet, he filled a few fluorescent stones into several grooves on the periphery of the teleportation array. After a few stones are filled in, the entire array suddenly glowed brightly. The lines on the formation are connected to each other. A burst of dazzling golden light completely enveloped Shen He's body. After the light dissipates, Shen He's figure also disappeared. About five or six seconds later, the stone wall near the teleportation array collapsed. The teleportation array was buried. Everything related to the Dragon Ball trials was buried in this earthquake. At the same time, Wild World, Windless Dead Sea. A huge island slowly emerged from the bottom of the sea. The outskirts of the huge island. Four long and narrow small islands also emerged. All four islands have distinct characteristics. An island is full of steep peaks and rocks, and it looks like a place of dangerous mountains and dangerous waters. An island was shrouded in strong winds, and a windshield was like a large oval bowl, holding the entire island inside. The third island is even more weird, like a fire. 
burning with raging fire. Only the last island looks relatively normal, with lush forests and dense water networks. It looks like a paradise. As for the island in the middle, it was shrouded in a thick fog, making it impossible to see its face clearly. All I know is that this is a huge island in the sea. The area is larger than the entire area of the four affiliated islands combined. Ding, the super large map, the overseas dragon territory map is pre-opened. From now on, if you kill bosses above level 40 or enhanced level, you have a chance to get Oath of Windless Oath which can be teleported in after the map is opened. Quote, the outer map of the overseas dragon domain will be opened in 30 days. Warm reminder, in the overseas dragon territory map, the drop of second level materials will be doubled. A system prompt sounded in everyone's ears. Bayun Town. Teleportation Array. Accompanied by a flash of light. A figure appeared in the teleportation array. Overseas Dragon Domain. A noun blurted out from Shenhe's mouth. Although it was being transmitted just now, he still heard the system announcement. The new map is pre-opened. A new map called Overseas Dragon Realm. Although Shenhe could not give evidence. But Shen He was very sure that the appearance of this new map was definitely related to him and Lin Miaotong completing the trial and taking away the two dragon balls. Forget it, it won't be open until a month later, and it also requires something called Windless Oath, which can only be exploded after a level 40 or above enhanced boss. Just let it happen. Shen He didn't think about the new map for the time being. Compared to the new map, he was more concerned about Lin Miaotong's affairs. At this time, in Shen He's hands, still holding a letter. This was what Lin Miaotong left for Shen He when he was on the teleportation array. Because he left in a hurry, Shen He didn't have time to take it apart and look at it. Of course, although I didn't open it to see, Shen He actually knew the general content of the letter. It was probably because she told her to leave resources for one teleportation in the teleportation array. Chen He opened the envelope in his hand while walking towards Lin Miaotong's home, which was the Chinju residence, written in the previous letter. Your husband kisses you. I have already left, leaving behind a teleportation resource that can be used once for a teleportation array. Chen He quickly read the contents of the envelope. Sure enough, it was almost the same as what he guessed. With three points of expectation, three points of apprehension, Chen He came to the door of Chinju residence. Tuck tuck tuck. Chen He knocked on the door of Chinjuju. After a while, the door opened. The person who opened the door was not Lin Miaotong or Shaolin. But a woman in green clothes. Who are you? The girl in green clothes glanced at Chen He doubtfully. Asked in confusion. Forehead. Chen He scratched his head, and for a moment, he didn't know what to say. Should we directly say that he is Lin Miaotong's husband? I feel a bit unable to express myself. He opened his mouth several times. Chen He finally revealed his identity. Well, I am Lin Miaotong's husband, who are you? Chen He asked rhetorically. E.H., are you the lucky person that the young lady said? Come in quickly. The woman in Sing Yi invited Chen He into Chinju residence. Listen to what she calls Lin Miaotong. The identity of this girl in green must be Lin Miaotong's maid, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot to change my name. I should have called me uncle, uncle, my name is Zhao King. Zhao King introduced herself. Can you take a look at Mrs. Marriage Certificate? Zhao King asked pleadingly. Okay, okay, no problem. Chen He took out the marriage certificate from his backpack. In fact, the current marriage certificate is no longer useful. Its actual role has been played long ago. If it weren't for this thing, Lin Miaotong would not be able to willingly call her husband and admit her identity. It would be nice to be dissatisfied with the world and pursue Chen He. Even in the secret trial realm, Chen He could be destroyed. At that time, Chen He did not have the equipment dog's immortality. He probably couldn't even take one of Lin Miaotong's moves. Lin Miaotong's level is level 119. He is only one step away from turning three, and he is also a hidden professional mentor. It was too easy to kill Chen He. And, there's one more thing. Death will drop equipment, if you drop the red ghost weapon. Shen He really lost money and exploded. The reason why the above thing did not happen. All because of the marriage certificate in hand. It's my uncle. Xiao Qing verified the authenticity of the marriage certificate in Shen He's hand. At this time, 
Shen He and Xiao Qing had entered the yard. Shen He looked around, looking for Lin Miaotong's figure. But not only could Lin Miaotong not be seen, not even Xiao Lan could be seen. This made Shen He confused. Where are Zhao Qing, Miaotong and Xiao Lan? Shen He asked. Lin Miaotong came back nine days ago. Logically speaking, the matter should be finished, right? Why does it look like now? It doesn't seem like that. Sister Shaolin left, and the young lady followed her. She didn't say where she went. She only left a letter, saying that if my husband comes here, he asked me to give him the letter. Zhao Qing explained. After listening to Zhao Qing's explanation, Shen He immediately felt something bad. Why? Things seem to be developing a bit beyond his expectations. Where's the letter? Chen He asked quickly. Uncle, come with me. Xiao Qing quickened his pace, turned a corner, and took Shen He outside a room. This is the lady's room. I won't go in. The letter is in there. Zhao Qing pointed to the door of the room. Shen He nodded slightly. Pushing open the carved wooden door, a faint scent of sandalwood hit my face. The room is extremely elegantly decorated, showing nobility and elegance everywhere. The first thing that catches the eye is an exquisitely carved bed. The bed is covered with soft brocade quilts and embroidered with exquisite flower and bird patterns. A landscape painting hangs above the bed, adding a bit of poetry. There is a dressing table next to the bed, which is filled with various jewelry. This should be where Lin Miaotong usually dresses up. Although there was no one there now, Shen He seemed to be able to imagine Lin Miaotong waking up from bed in the morning, sitting in front of the dressing table, arranging her hair with her slender hands. There is a desk in the corner of the room. On the table are pens, inks, paper and ink stones, some books, and a very simple gukan. Chen Yi's eyes glanced around the room. Soon, it settled next to the gukan. Same handwriting and format as the previous two letters. My husband personally approves. I'm taking Shaolin to Huolong Pond. I expect to be back in half a month, so don't think about it. Wife, Lin Miaotong, aren't you here? Shen He felt a little disappointed. Half a month, no, no, she left nine days ago, and there are only a few days left. Chen He said, although, Shen He didn't know where the Huolong Pond that Lin Miaotong mentioned was. Since Lin Miaotong is not here now, Shen He was ready to leave. After Lin Miaotong comes back, look for him again. At this moment, a communication rang. Shen He glanced at the contact and found that it was his father calling. So he quickly connected. Shen He connected the communication. A familiar face appeared in the video. Shen He, have you arrived in Beiyun town? Shen Yangming asked in surprise. How long has it been since Shen He entered the game? It's only been more than half a month, and it's already level 40. Have you cheated? Shen Yangming didn't know. Chen He actually reached level 40 10 days ago. He has been in the town for 10 days. Of course, these 10 days have passed in the dungeon at 100 times the flow speed. Dad, what do you want from me? Shen He asked quickly. The new map will be open soon, you know, right? Shen Yangming asked. I know. Chen He replied. This is a server-wide announcement, how could he not know? Moreover, Shen He had serious doubts. That new map. It has something to do with the trial level that he, and Lin Miaotong, completed. I originally wanted to urge you to stop being lazy and level up quickly. The girl we introduced to you came to Beiyun Town a few days ago. Shen Yangming said. No. No need. Shen He quickly refused. He already has a girlfriend. To be precise, he already has a wife. I'm still shy. It's just a meeting. They are all young people. It's just a meeting. Let's just treat them as friends. Shen Yang said obviously very open-minded. She is the daughter of an old friend, so you can treat her as a friend. All right. After hearing this, Shen He could only agree. He actually wanted to tell his father about Lin Miaotong. But he doesn't dare. The first is that he doesn't know what his father thinks about him finding an NPC as his wife. You need to find a chance to test this. The second thing is, I don't want to leak this matter yet. Lin Miaotong's identity was too conspicuous. Just when Shen He was thinking about how to tactfully ask his father about finding an NPC as his wife. Shen Yangming continued, We are working on Oath of No Win. Overseas Dragon Realm may be an opportunity for me and your mother to have a second chance. You are not at home now. You come at 8 o'clock in the evening, and I will call the girl. 
Good. Shen He bit the bullet and nodded in agreement. Then asked, Dad, what should I do if I like NPC? Shen He asked tentatively, Like NPCs? Who doesn't like NPCs? I have always liked Miss Aelin. Shen Yangming muttered, when he saw Shen He's look of shock. Shen Yangming realized that he seemed to have accidentally spoken out what was on his mind. Ahem, fool, don't tell your mother. Shen Yangming warned with a straight face. Dad, do you think I look like that kind of person? Shen He stretched out a hand towards Shen Yangming. You little brat, you know how to chew on your elders. Come here tonight and I'll give you a good thing. Shen Yangming said with a smile. Then the topic changed. You are not in love with that kind of smart NPC, are you? I advise you not to overestimate your capabilities, that is not something you can touch. Do you know how much it costs to build a smart NPC? Not necessarily it can be successful, and once the NPC dies, it will lose all its memory when reborn. Quote. Some special intelligent NPCs can't even regenerate. Okay, okay, I got it, hang up. Hang up the phone to my father. Shen He touched his chin. It's better not to let them know for the time being. We'll talk about it later when we have the opportunity. Shen He temporarily rejected the idea of telling his parents about this matter. Now is not the time. Dad and Mom are both playing Oath of the Windless right now. Although I'm still far from level 79, it seems like it's time to start preparing for the second rank. Shen He was thinking about what to do next. Chen He is almost certain that almost everyone who is stuck at level 79 wants to go to this new map. The buff of double the explosion rate of second turn materials is definitely a rare opportunity for those who are stuck at level 79 and are stuck with second turn materials. With Lin Miaotong's letter, Shen He left the room. Zhao King is still waiting outside the door. Uncle, what did the lady say? Zhao King asked curiously. It's nothing. She took Shaolin out and will be back in a few days. Shen He replied. That's right. Zhao King's face was clear. Send Xiao Qing away. Shen He took out three things from his backpack. A key to the third floor of the Prairie Wolf Tomb, and a teleportation stone to the Tower of the Sun and the Tower of the Moon. The mission of the cheating device, and the clues to the Tiger Talisman. All in two towers, but Shen He did a little research and found that if you want to pass the twelfth floor of the Moon Tower, you almost need a stable and controllable flow state to pass. If you want to pass the twelfth floor of the Tower of the Sun, you need to turn two players. What we are talking about here is only the twelfth floor. The Tower of the Sun and the Tower of the Moon are both eighteen-story buildings. Shen He suspected that the ghost weapon of the Tiger Zodiac was placed on the top floors of the two towers. Of course, this is just Shen He's guess. Moreover, he still had a doubt. How could a Zodiac ghost weapon be placed in two places? It can't be split in half. Half of the top of the Tower of the Sun and half of the top of the Tower of the Moon. I don't care about the Tower of the Sun for now. You have to learn the flow state first and get the modification permissions of the cheat device. Shen He collected everything. He took out a round badge. Hunter badge. With this thing, you can participate in the flow training of the Hunter Guild. I sorted out my thoughts. Shen He determined what he would do next. Flow. Next, he needs to learn flow control. By the way, a week has passed, and the cooling down of the Zodiac Guidance skill should be over. Shen He slapped his forehead. I took out the Zodiac Compass. Although it takes one year to be guided once. The asking price is too expensive. But now, after Shen He obtained Dog's Immortality, the significance of landing time to him has been greatly reduced. Just kidding, he doesn't need login time now. Use it again, although it will take a year to use it once. Take out the Zodiac Compass and activate active skills. Zodiac Guide. Ding, are you sure? It will take one year to activate the Zodiac Guidance. The system's beep sounded in Shen He's ears. Yes. Shen He's face trembled, and he answered with some pain. Then, Shen He saw that his login time was rapidly decreasing like an avalanche. From more than a year, it collapsed to less than a year. As the sinking river pours time into the compass, the Zodiac Guidance skill is finally activated. The pointer on the compass seemed to be going crazy, spinning rapidly. Not long after, one of the hands stopped first. It fell on the pattern of pig. The other pointer continues to rotate. After turning around for an unknown number of times, he pointed in one direction and stopped. 
a term that Shen He had just heard appeared in front of Shen He's eyes. Overseas Dragon Territory. Why, is it an overseas dragon domain again? Do I still have to go to this place? Shen He looked at the clues given by the Zodiac Compass. He said with unconscious words. Originally, due to the overseas dragon territory map, double the second level materials were dropped. Shen He was ready to get involved. Now got this information. Regarding the Zodiac Ghost Weapon of Pig, it is in the Overseas Dragon Realm. Shen He couldn't even think about it anymore. I just don't know what the effect of this Pig Ghost Weapon is. Shen He was slightly looking forward to it. Of course, the Overseas Dragon Domain will not be opened until one month later. Moreover, an item called Windless Pact is also needed, which can be postponed a little later. Tomorrow, let's go find the Hunter Guild first. Chen He clenched the hunter badge in his hand. At the moment, let's resolve tonight's matter as soon as possible. Because the current time is still very early from 8 o'clock in the evening. Chen He planned to go to the public copy first to take a look. It seems that when you reach level 10, the dungeon function will be enabled, right? I haven't played a public dungeon yet, which is weird. Chen He laughed at himself a little funny. Immediately, Chen He arrived near the most prosperous East Street. There are a total of five public dungeons in Beiyun Town. Three level 40 dungeons, one level 60 dungeon, and one level 70 dungeon. So-called public copy. Just don't need a copy key. You only need to pay some login time to get unlimited copies. The entrances to these copies are all near East Street. This is the place with the largest flow of people in Beiyun Town. The shops on both sides were almost surrounded by several major guilds in the city such prime location land and shops. Except for those in the hands of NPCs, they are all controlled by several major guilds. Shen He glanced over casually. You can see a pharmacy with the badge of Eternal Guild hanging on it. In the equipment store next to the pharmacy, there was a Blue Sky badge that looked familiar to Shen He. It's the Blue Sky Guild where Dad belongs. Dad serves as the vice president in the guild and also serves as the commander of a thousand-man army. Proper high rise. Shen He's goal this time. It's a copy called Shadow Mouse Hole. This copy is a production level 40 blue assassin suit, Black Shadow. Because the helmet of this set looks a bit like a mouse, and the shipped copy is also called Shadow Mouse Hole, this set of blue equipment is also called a mouse set. The reason why Shen He fell in love with this copy. It's definitely not for that set of equipment, but for the rat boss in the dungeon. The synthesis requirements of Mouse's smart blueprint. It just requires the souls of 100 rat bosses. Shen He was attracted by the soul of the rat boss in the dungeon. It can be said that this copy meets Shen He's requirements very well. Because, in the copy of Shadow Mausel, there are a total of seven different types of rat bosses. Every time you enter a copy, three of them will be randomly selected as the copy boss. Which three you draw depends entirely on luck. Chen He was prepared to spend half a day. Defeat all seven rat bosses. Just do it. Chen He arrived at the entrance of the copy. Someone immediately sent a team application to Chen He. Although Chen He is only level 40 now, his equipment with purple light cannot fool anyone. Friend, it seems you are a warrior, right? We are short of one. Come to our team, there are more than one girl in our team. Someone immediately used the female players in the team to lure Chen He. Thank you, no need. Shen He rejected various invitations one by one. Team up. It is impossible to form a team. It is impossible to form a team in this life. Shen He hates teamwork very much. Especially if there are too many people, it will lead to intrigue. I saw Shen He running towards the entrance of the dungeon alone. The group of people who had just attracted Shen He suddenly turned into happy people. This is a five player dungeon. Even if you are dressed in purple, you want to challenge a five-player dungeon alone. Isn't this courting death? Isn't this the stupid son of a landlord? Some mocking voices rang out. It seems a bit harsh. But Shen He ignored this group of people. Five-person copy, so what? Shen He arrived at the entrance to the copy. Ding, do you want to pay for two days of login time to enter the five-player dungeon, Shadow Mouse Hole? The system's beep sounded in Shen He's ears. Yes. Chen He thought silently in his heart. However, Shen He did not go in immediately. Instead, I heard the system prompt tone again. Ding, this dungeon is a five-player dungeon. 
It is not recommended to challenge it alone. Do you want to continue? Continue. Chen He said silently again. This time. Chen He finally felt a suction. After two days of payment. Chen He finally entered the shadow mouse hole copy. Ding. Welcome to the shadow rat cave. You have two hours to be active. Please kill the rat king boss inside the mouse cave. In the darkness, Shen He blinked a few times. Adapt to the environment in the copy. Jirjirji. There was a sound of mice all around. The first welcome ceremony. Shen He naturally knew what was going on now. When he came, he had read the guide. These are all habitual actions. Before playing the dungeon, you must read the strategy and know yourself and the enemy to win every battle. Entering the Shadow Rat Cave, you will immediately be surrounded by 30 level 40 Shadow Rat mobs from all directions. Dozens of mobs, this is a test of teamwork. The reason why Shen He was laughed at by a group of people when he wanted to enter the dungeon alone. To a large extent, it is because of this. Two fists are no match for four hands. If a crispy profession is surrounded by so many mobs from all directions, it will basically die. Although the warrior tank is slightly better, it just dies a little slower. It's a pity that such a rule exists. It doesn't seem to apply to Shen He. If you can break my defense, you are considered powerful. Shen He didn't even bother to spend time cleaning up the mobs. Directly follow the direction in the guide and walk towards the vicinity of the first rat boss. With a large wave of shadow rat mobs, Chen He came to the first shadow rat boss. This is a red shadow rat whose whole body is burning with flames. The nearby caves were somewhat illuminated by it. You're lucky, I got the fire attribute. Shen He casually slashed three times on the shadow rat mobs surrounding him. If there is an attack target, it is not considered an empty A. These little monsters were simply sent to Shen Hecken's doorstep to make him passive. Minus 4000. After a number appeared on the head of the flame rat. The body of the flame rat slowly fell. Shen He used Dragon Fury passively three times to kill this boss. Stack quickly with the help of mobs. It takes no more than one minute in total. After the flame rat fell. A wisp of illusory soul entered Shen He's backpack. To be precise, it entered the mouse smart drawing in the backpack. Chen He took out the mouse spirit drawing. Collection progress of the rat boss above, 5 one hundredths. The current level 40 ordinary boss has almost no difficulty for Shen He. The body of the flame rat fell. Several things emerged from the flame rat's corpse. There is only one purple light, and the rest are of lower quality than blue. And the purple item, Shen He knew what it was without even thinking about it. It's definitely a time card. Shen He picked up the time card. Time card. Six hours. The output of public copies is really stingy. Shen He put away the time card. A level 40 boss only loses six hours of time cards. If it were a wild monster or a normal dungeon boss, it would be impossible to only have such a small amount of time. Shen He put away all the items. Then continue with the copy. About half an hour later, Shen He appeared at the door of the dungeon. Then entered again. I brushed it seven or eight times in a row. Chen He finally cleared all seven types of rat bosses in the dungeon. The income from public copies is too low. I will never use them again. Chen He glanced at the sky. Feeling that time was almost up, I walked towards the Redwood Manor outside the city. Redwood Manor is a small farm. When Chen He came to the vicinity of Redwood Manor, it was almost eight o'clock. From a distance, Chen He saw a middle-aged woman wearing a purple robe. He was standing at the door of the manor, looking into the distance from time to time. When Shen He saw her, he was also discovered. Suddenly his eyes lit up. Mom, Chen He waved towards Yang Lushan. Then, he ran quickly towards Yang Lushan. Come in quickly. Yang Lushan welcomed Shen He in with a smile on her face. When you walk into the manor, you can see two huge fields in the yard. Various plants fill the yard. Yang Lushan conveniently picked a cucumber-like fruit. It was handed into Shen He's hand. Try it, I grew it myself. Eating it can restore life and increase the critical hit rate by 5% within 30 seconds. Yang Lushan introduced slightly proudly. Good. There was a smile on Shen He's face. He opened his mouth and took a bite of the cucumber-like fruit. It's not particularly sweet, but very moist. Shen He finished the fruit in his hand in three or two mouthfuls. Ding, if you eat cucumber, 
500 health points will be restored immediately, and the critical hit rate will be increased by 5% in the next 30 seconds. The system's beep sounded in Chen Yi's ears. It tastes good. Chen He said, Come in, this will be your home in the wilderness from now on. Yang Lushan led Shen He into the house. You can see that your father, Shen Yangming, is sitting on a chair. Coming, Shen Yangming raised his head and glanced at Shen He. He reached out and threw an item to Shen He. Shen He subconsciously caught the item. Discovery is a skill book. It is also a skill book that exudes golden light. For you, Shen Yangming said calmly, but his expression was slightly complacent. Shen He also saw clearly the contents of the skill book in his hand at this time. Shield blow hit the enemy with a shield, forcing a minimum of 1 second and a maximum of 3 seconds of stun. The specific control time is linked to the levels of both parties, and the cooling time is 5 seconds. Learning Restrictions Warrior, equipped with secondary weapon and shield. Hiss. Shen He took a breath. It's actually this skill, forced control. Shen He said with joy on his face. This is truly a magical skill. Even a level 100 boss. Take a shield hit. He also had to be controlled for a second. Unless you encounter overlord or invincible skills. Thank you, dad. It's just, I need a secondary weapon area. Chen He rubbed his hands and looked at his father. In addition to being job specific, this skill also requires a shield in the secondary weapon area in order to learn it. Here, here, while talking, Shen Yangming threw another stone to Shen He. Secondary weapon area opening stone, after use, the secondary weapon area can be opened. Dad, I love you so much. Chen He was overjoyed. He looked at his father's face and felt that his father's face was extremely kind. Go, 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 Shen Yangming said with a look of disgust. Dad, I also have a gift for you. Chen He thought for a moment and took out a token. Dad, this is what I exploded last time. Chen He handed the guild order to his father. Hey, guild order, Shen Yangming let out a light sigh. He couldn't help but stood up. With a surprised look on his face, he looked at the guild order in Shen He's hand. Why do you have guild order? Did it explode? Shen He said matter-of-factly. Don't you know how difficult it is to explode this thing? Well, well, well. Shen Yangming said several good words in a row. Everyone seemed extremely excited. Everything is ready, all that's left is this. I didn't expect that it was you who sent it to me. The joy on Shen Yangming's face could not be concealed at all. Shen Yangming's performance made Shen He feel that the guild order seemed to be particularly important to him. You know, my father Shen Yangming has always been the kind of person who manages his emotions and expressions very well. The reaction was so big this time. Everything is ready, all we need is the east wind, and now the east wind is coming. Shen Yangming said as if no one was watching. Of course, there is no need to have any taboos. There was a wife and a son present. Dad, what's going on? Chen He's heart felt as if a cat had scratched him. He felt that his father was going to do something big. Children, don't ask so many questions. Upgrading is what you should consider now. Shen Yangming said with a straight face. Obviously he had no intention of telling Shen He about his plans and calculations. In his eyes, Shen He was just a child who had just grown up. It's just that I was very lucky and the guild order broke out. Whispering sound, Chen He curled his lips, looking a little dissatisfied with his father's attitude towards him. From the corner of his eye, he glanced at his mother. I remembered that I still had something for my mother. Mom, here's your gift, Chen He said. With that said, Shen He took out two things. A small bag, and a scroll. Okay, okay, Yang Lushan suddenly smiled. She didn't care what her son gave her. Even if it is a bottle of red potion, she feels it is the best thing. Snake spirit flower. This kind of seed is rare. This scroll is, snap. When Yang Lushan saw the contents of the scroll, he didn't hold it firmly in his hand and dropped the scroll to the ground. His eyes were wide open, full of disbelief. No, it can't be right. Chapter 91 Yang Lushan couldn't believe her eyes. Could it be that I was dazzled and saw something wrong? Yang Lushan bent down and picked up the scroll from the ground. I took another look at the contents on the scroll. Proof of Ling Jufu's job transfer. After using it, Ling Jufu's job transfer will be enabled. After completing the trial, you can get the sub job, Ling Jufu. 
Note, only senior farmers or senior botanists can initiate job transfer. This, this, this. Young Lucian stuttered unconsciously. What's wrong? A son's filial piety is good no matter what it is. There's no need to be like this, right? Shen Yangming obviously misunderstood and said to Yang Lucian. No, no, boss, look. Yang Lucian handed the thing in her hand to Shen Yangming. Shen Yangming didn't care much at first. Snake spirit flower seeds seem to be quite rare, but they are not. No, boss, look at the job transfer certificate that hides your profession. Yang Lucian said a little incoherently. Ah, hidden profession. Shen Yangming was no longer calm. He quickly checked the scroll-like thing in his hand. It's not a hidden profession, it's a hidden sub-profession, or an advanced profession for farmers. Yang Lucian looked very excited. The current manner. Basically, it was earned through Yang Lucian's side job. What? A hidden profession as a secondary profession? Or an advanced hidden profession as a farmer? Shen Yangming could not remain calm at all. He looked excitedly at the Ling Jifu's job transfer certificate in his hand. Watched it several times in a row. Only then did I confirm that I had read it correctly. Where did you get it? It wasn't stolen, was it? Shen Yangming suddenly felt his temples tingling. There is an ominous feeling. Um, how did you know? Shen He said slightly embarrassed. He just stole it. You didn't rob the Eternal Guild, did you? Shen Yangming suddenly thought of something. He quickly looked at Shen He and asked. Then, without waiting for Shen He to answer, he continued to add, the newly released wanted criminal named Shen He by the Eternal Guild is you. Shen Yangming quickly guessed a lot of things. Hidden sub-career transfer certificates, each one is valuable. There was news from the Eternal Guild before. One member's Ling Jifu's job transfer certificate was snatched away by a man named Shen He. Although it is the same as his son's name. But there are many people named Shen He in the world, and Shen He is still in novice village. Shen Yangming subconsciously denied the possibility of his own son. But look now, you're in big trouble. Shen Yangming rubbed his temples. Eternal Guild stuff. Otherwise, let's hand it over. Yang Lushan said hesitantly. Although she wanted this very much. However, the Eternal Guild is not something that their family can afford to offend. No, how can we hand over the things that are in our hands? Chen He and Shen Yangming said in unison. After saying that, the two looked at each other in surprise. There was a smile on his face unconsciously. Not a family, don't enter the same door. Why should you hand it over if you robbed it based on your strength? Shen He said, making his attitude clear. Want to take something from his hand? Impossible things. My son is right, everything is in our hands. It is impossible to hand it over. Moreover, not only cannot it be handed over, but we must use it as much as possible. Shen Yangming said decisively. Only by using it can you be completely free from fear. How far behind are you from a senior farmer? Shen Yangming asked. It's not much worse. I just need to plant a high-end crop. You see, the purple okra I planted is a high-end crop. It will take about two to three months to mature. Yang Lushan made a rough calculation. After a while, he said. I remember that there seems to be something called gentiala, which can speed up the growth of plants. Yes, it is available, but it's too expensive. It's not cost-effective to use gold to induce labor. It's okay if it's a little more expensive, but what I want is that it's fast. Shen Yangming made the next arrangements in a few words. Although Yang Lushan found it too expensive, she still agreed with Shen Yangming. Because of the arrival of Shen He, what he brought made Shen Yangming change his original plan. By the way, son, I may have to wrong you a little. Shen Yangming said suddenly feeling a little guilty. Ah, why are you aggrieved? Shen He didn't know why and looked at his father. A pair of eyes filled with confusion. Why do you suddenly say such things to yourself? It's just that you can't live here for the time being, and you can't even recognize us. But don't worry, after I complete my plan and your mother changes jobs, I can get you whatever you want in the future. Shen Yangming said domineeringly, Chen Yi's identity as a wanted criminal of the Eternal Guild is likely to affect his next plan. There is also the matter of hiding sub-career transfer items, which is also a tricky thing. Can't we live here? Can't we recognize each other? It's okay, I've long been used to being alone, and, ahem. I have a place to live. Chen He coughed twice and said, he wasn't planning on living here in the first place. 
He wants to live at Lin Miaotong's house. Lin Miaotong is not at home now, taking Shaolin to Huolong Pond, but she will probably have to go home in a few days. Living at my parents' place is actually very inconvenient. How could it be comfortable to sleep with Lin Miaotong in your arms every day? No, please leave quickly. We have guests coming tonight. Shen Yangming looked at the time and said. Good, Shen He is also a decisive person. Current situation. Not contacting parents and not exposing the relationship with parents is the most cost-effective way. What's more, Shen He is actually used to flying solo. Shen He, Yang Lushan seemed a little reluctant to leave. She thought that after Shen He reached level 40, the family would be able to live together. But now, we can't expose our relationship in front of outsiders. Mom, it's okay. Shen He patted his mother's hand. Before leaving, I solemnly spoke to my father. Dad, don't look at me. I'm only level 40. I'm very strong. If there's a copy or a boss that you can't solve, call me anytime. After bidding farewell to his parents, Shen He returned to Chinju residence. Just when Shen He was about to log off, he suddenly discovered something. In Lin Miaotong's room, the candle was actually on. And through the window, you can vaguely see a graceful figure. Lin Miaotong is back. Although I guess it is Lin Miaotong who is back. There shouldn't be anyone else in Lin Miaotong's room. But it shouldn't be time yet, right? With a hint of doubt. Shen He came outside the house. He stretched out his hand and knocked on the door of the room. Tuck tuck tuck. There was a knock on the door. Who is it? A slightly cold voice came from inside the house. It's really Lin Miaotong who's back. It's me. Shen He replied outside the house. Please come in. Lin Miaotong hesitated for a moment and then said. With Lin Miaotong's permission, Shen He finally opened the door. Looking towards the house, Shen He gently opened the door and the scene inside the house came into view. It can be seen that Lin Miaotong is sitting at the desk, her posture is elegant, like a blooming lotus. She held a piano sheet in her hand, her eyes focused and deep, as if the whole world existed only between the yellowed paper. The moonlight shines on her body through the window, outlining her graceful curves. Her long hair fell down her back like a waterfall, rising and falling slightly with her breathing. Her face is as fair as jade, her skin is as delicate as silk, and she exudes a cold aura that makes people afraid to approach her easily. Shen He stood quietly at the door, staring at Lin Miaotong. Which, why are you back now? Shen He looked for a topic and asked. Although I have had in-depth communication with Lin Miaotong. But in fact, he didn't know much about Lin Miaotong in detail. Didn't you say half a month? It's half a month, but Shaolin has passed the critical period now, and the rest is just a matter of time. Lin Miaotong replied. The voice was indifferent, and no extra emotion could be heard. That's it. Hearing this, Shen He nodded. Then, I didn't know what to say. Suddenly, Chen He's eyes caught a glimpse of a chessboard placed in the room. Can you play chess? Shen He asked. Oh, you also know how to play chess. Lin Miaotong's words finally had a touch of emotion. Understand a little bit, Chen He said modestly. Originally he didn't understand anything. But after reading 200,000 chess books, it is not easy to understand. Since my husband is so interested, let's play a game of chess. Lin Miaotong took out the chessboard, placed it on the table, and invited Shen He to sit opposite. Good, Chen He suppressed the joy in his heart. Real, although in the envelope, he was called husband by Lin Miaotong. But, that's just words. Far from it, in reality, this word was spoken directly from Lin Miaotong's mouth, which gave Shen He a high sense of accomplishment. Just the title gave Shen He a very secretly refreshing feeling. Of course, it must not be shown. Shen He calmly came to the opposite side of Lin Miaotong. At this time, Shen He was extremely grateful for participating in the Dragon Ball trial before. If not for Dragon Ball trials, Shen He learned Go and was barely proficient in it. He found that he had no suitable topic to communicate with Lin Miaotong. Please, Lin Miaotong's jade hand grabbed a few chess pieces in her palm. After Shen he thought for a moment. He took out a chess piece and placed it on the chessboard. At this moment, Lin Miaotong opened her white hands. Can be seen, six black chess pieces lay in Lin Miaotong's hands. All go first. Lin Miaotong took out a chess piece and clicked it on the small eye. 
After defeating Zhang Haibai, although he won by luck, Shen He also unknowingly felt a touch of pride in his body. He began to fight with all his strength. Both sides played very quickly at the beginning. But not long after, everyone started taking long exams. Shen He discovered that Lin Miaotong's level seemed to be no worse than his own. If he loses, his identity as a male compatriot will not be known. She must be defeated and conquered fiercely. Lin Miaotong also looked a little surprised. She originally thought that her husband was just a destined person, a fate that could not be avoided. Now it seems that it is not as ordinary as it seems. This chess skill is at least master level. Press her firmly. It made her feel like she was being attacked from all sides. Neither of them spoke. All the mental ideas are invested on the chessboard. Chen He now no longer has any unnecessary thoughts about Lin Miaotong. Just want to be on the board. Kill Lin Miaotong's black child. Pap, pap, the sound of the move is getting slower and slower. Finally, Shen He clicked on the last position. Pap, Lin Miaotong threw the chess pieces in her hand back into the chess box. I lost. I admire my husband for his superb chess skills. Lin Miaotong complimented from the bottom of her heart. Your level is also very high. Shen He wiped his forehead. It's so difficult. Isn't Lin Miaotong just a piano fairy? Why is he so good at Go? I almost didn't do it. Shen He also cupped his hands and said. At this time, Shen Hekai suddenly realized something. I'm going. How come it's dawn? Shen He looked at the warm sunshine outside the window. Now, it's actually morning. No, one night just passed by. And, these are no ordinary mornings anymore. Looking at the sun, it's already morning. My husband is a superb chess player. Can we play another game? Lin Miaotong said with unfinished meaning. It was as if I had just had a massage. You can tell. At this time, Lin Miaotong's eyes were slightly closed, and the corners of her mouth were slightly raised, as if she was immersed in incomparable comfort. Her skin exudes a faint fragrance, which is her unique smell. Her body stretched relaxedly, and every inch of her muscles was fully soothed and relaxed. Her long hair was scattered beside the chair like a waterfall, rising and falling gently with her breathing. The whole room is filled with a quiet and peaceful atmosphere, and with the chessboard between the two of them, people feel extremely relaxed and comfortable. Another round, it won't go down until tomorrow, right? People like Lin Miaotong regard playing chess as a supreme enjoyment. Shen He has never seen the second person. Just when Shen He was thinking about how to reject Lin Miaotong, he received a message. It was sent to him by Banksia Qingchong. Shen He currently has a total of five friends in his friend list. The two parents, the sports committee, the dog, and Banksia Qingchong. Come quickly to the third floor of the underground wolf tomb. There is a dungeon that needs your help. The reward for the dungeon is a binding stone, which can be used to bind the equipment on your body and give your equipment an extra attribute that will never fall off. Binding stone, never fall. Hearing these two words, Shen He immediately lost his composure. I still have something to do, I'll come back next time. Shen He stood up and said, Is something wrong, husband, please take care of me. Lin Miaotong said, I don't know if it's Shen He's illusion. He felt that there seemed to be something extra in Lin Miaotong's tone this time. Shen He left. Looking at Shen He's leaving figure, Lin Miaotong was stunned for a few seconds. She didn't know what she thought of, but a hint of crimson appeared on her beautiful face, and it disappeared in a flash. Then, he began to clean up the chess game and put back all the black and white pieces. Return to the desk, pick up the music score, and continue reading. Being there soon, Chen He replied to Banksia Qingchong. After leaving Lin Miaotong's room, the key to the third underground level of Prairie Wolf Tomb was activated. Following a familiar spin, Shen He came to a dim environment. He came to the third underground floor of Prairie Wolf Tomb. Shen He blinked, adapted to the dark surrounding environment. Shen He looked towards Banksia Qingchong. He asked almost impatiently, How do you get the binding stone you mentioned? Shen He asked straight to the point. He was not familiar with Banksia Qingchong, so meaningless pleasantries could be omitted. The important thing is that Shen He has no intention of getting acquainted with Banksia Qingchong. Here, this is it. Banksia Qingchong is not a grinder either. He took out a copy key directly. That's it. This is a two-player special copy. It is opened once a month. 
The binding stone can be redeemed using points during settlement. Hearing this, Shen He looked at the items in Banksia Qingcheng's hands. Invitation to Alcatraz Carnival. Number of invitees. 2. Use time countdown. 15 minutes and 24 seconds. The countdown to the invitation is still increasing and decreasing as time goes by. Say it in advance, I hope you can help me get the final reward. When redeeming the final reward, if my points are not enough, you must lend them to me, and I will make up the difference for you after I come out. Sha Ching Chung said. Okay, no problem. Chen He nodded in agreement, he owed Banksia Ching Chung something. Even if he gave her all the points for free this time, Shen He would have nothing to say. It's just that there may be less work to be done. With Banksia Ching Chung's proposal, Shen He would naturally not be unable to do anything. In that case, let's sign a contract. Banksia Ching Chung had already prepared a contract and handed it to Shen He. The content is what she just said. There are also fair clauses in the copy such that both parties are not allowed to harm each other. Shen He browsed it in detail and found no pitfalls. I just hesitated a little when I saw the penalty for breach of contract. If he breaks the contract, he will return the Zodiac Compass and pay 100 years of default login time. After thinking for a moment, Shen He signed his UID on the contract. When Shen He finished signing, the contract ignited without fire and turned into two streams of light, which penetrated into the eyebrows of the two people. There is less than 10 minutes left. Do you have any clues about this copy? Shen He asked while logging into the forum skillfully. Looking for information on this Alcatraz Carnival copy. As expected, I couldn't find it at all. There is no relevant information on the forum for slightly more advanced things. Shen He complained in his mind. Of course, this situation is completely understandable. High-end things are exposed to fewer people. Putting it on the forum doesn't get much clicks or revenue. Only a little bit, I bought it from Tianluotawang. Banksia Qingcheng had no intention of hiding anything. He handed a piece of paper to Shen He. There isn't much information on paper. Just saying some of the basic rules of Alcatraz. There are many kinds of devil tests on Alcatraz Island, and 100 people, that is, 50 teams, will land on the island each time. Each Alcatraz cycle will last for 7 days, or it will end when only the last group of people is left. At the end of a cycle, those who have safely evacuated from Alcatraz Island can use the points obtained from the Alcatraz Island trial to exchange for items. It's gone, didn't you say the specific content of the trial on Alcatraz Island? Shen He raised his head and asked. No, there are many demon trials on Devil's Island, and each trial is different. You can only rely on yourself. Banksia Qingcheng shook her head and replied. That's it, last question, what is your goal? How many points do you need to achieve it? Shen He asked the last question in his mind. I need to try something called one-third of the wind demonic energy in the trial store. It requires 1,000 points to redeem it. Banksia Qingcheng explained directly. In fact, you can see it from here. Banksia Qingcheng, how eager she is for one-third of the wind's demonic energy. One-third, in other words, do you have the other two-thirds? Shen He heard the score and asked subconsciously. Um, it takes a whole portion of the wind's demonic energy to be effective. If one-third is in your hand alone, it can only be used as a collection. Banksia Qingcheng had no intention of hiding it. Of course, it's possible that I'll give this answer after thinking about it. Tell Shen He, don't take advantage of the demonic energy of the wind. Soon, the countdown ends. In the invitation letter in Banksia Qingcheng's hand, a black light shot out. The black light hit the ground and instantly stirred up a cloud of dust. When the dust gradually dispersed, a huge devil's door slowly rose from the ground. This door exudes an evil aura, as if it is the entrance to hell. The door was engraved with strange runes and patterns, and shone with a dark red light, making people shudder. There is a strong dark energy surrounding the Devil's Gate, which distorts the surrounding space and makes people feel an invisible pressure. There were deep roars coming from inside the door, as if there were countless demons waiting to be released behind the door. As the Devil's Gate rose, the surrounding temperature dropped sharply, and a cold breath hit his face. The wind also became more violent, howling across the open space and making an eerie sound. Hiss, the movement is a bit loud. Chen He looked at the devil's gate in front of him. Ding, please enter within 15 minutes, otherwise you will be deemed to have given up this opportunity. 
The system prompt sounded in the ears of Shen He and Banksia Qingchong, urging the two of them to get in quickly. Let's go in. Banksia Qingchong stretched out a small hand towards Shen He. Pull them together, otherwise they will be disrupted. Banksia Qingchong said. Chen He looked at the little hand Banksia Qingchong handed over. Seems a little hesitant. He has a wife, so it seems he should keep a distance from other women. Stop nagging, just hold hands, hurry up. Banksia Qingchong urged somewhat amusingly. Walk, Shen He gritted his teeth and grabbed Banksia Qingchong's little hand. The two of them walked towards the Devil's Gate together. Welcome to Alcatraz Island, I wish you a pleasant journey. The system's voice rang in Shen He's ears. When Shen He opened his eyes, he found himself standing in a forest. There are strange black trees growing around it. Hey, sounds like babies crying came from these strange trees. A bloody moon hangs high in the sky. Everything shows that this is not a good place. Is this Alcatraz Island? Shen He consciously let go of Banksia Qingchong's hand and looked around carefully. We can only take one step and watch one step. Banksia Qingchong caught up with Shen He, and the two of them explored the unknown front side by side. Not long after, about a quarter of an hour later, the two came to a small wooden house that seemed a little out of place with the environment. Not that this cabin is so special. It's just a very ordinary cabin. But in an environment like Alcatraz, it seems a bit out of place. Too ordinary. Ordinary ones make people feel that there is fraud in them. Careful. Chen He winked at Banksia Qingchong. Um. Banksia Qingchong snorted. Both of them took out their weapons and slowly approached the cabin. Banksia Qingchong's weapon is a magic wand that looks a bit like a cane. In the hands of a beautiful girl like Banksia Qingchong, it seems a bit unharmonious. Of course, appearance is not important. The two of them walked slowly towards the cabin, their bodies tense, as if they were ready to fight at any time. But just when Shen He and Banksia Qingchong arrived at the door of the cabin, the door of the cabin opened automatically with a click. What to do? Chen He and Banksia Qingchong stayed where they were. Shen He turned around and asked. Ask for Banksia Qingchong's opinion. After all, Banksia Qingchong is the boss of this copy. Let's go over and have a look. Banksia Qingchong thought for a while and said. Good. The two moved on. When approaching the door, Shen He glanced at him. I saw two people already sitting in the cabin. It was at this time that Shen He felt a familiar pull. In the blink of an eye, Shen He found that he was already sitting in the cabin. With his peripheral vision, Shen He saw Banksia Qingcheng sitting on the chair next to him. Ding, there are not enough people in the trial, please wait a moment. The system's beep sounded in Shen He's ears. Listening to the system prompts, Shen He still didn't know that this cabin seemed to be a trial level. He and Banksia Qingcheng were dragged into the trial level. However, there is a limit on the number of people in the trial level, and the number of people is not yet full, so the trial has not been started yet. Shen He and Banksia Qingcheng looked at each other. There was no verbal exchange. Instead, he began to look at the player sitting opposite the two people. Lone Grave LV61, Wushuang LV60. When both people are at the same level, Chen He and Banksia Qingcheng took a breath of cold air unconsciously. Although not a second turn player. But the pressure of level 20 is still very huge. Hey, two newbies who just turned level 40. When Shen He and Chen He looked at each other, they were also observed by each other. When seeing the levels of the two people, although Ji Yu Fen and Shui Wushuang did not show any expressions of contempt, that kind of contempt was indispensable. We are so lucky to have two cute little newbies. Do you dare to come to Alcatraz as a newbie? You've got a bargain for us. Ji Yu Fen and Shui Wushuang were talking in a relaxed tone. Hello, Shen He tentatively said hello. At least he has been a veteran player for several years. Only then can there be such a high level as level 60. Although there are not many attribute points gained from leveling up, the main role of level is not at all the insignificant attribute points. But as the level increases, can wear high level equipment. Hello, kid. Maybe Shen He's level was too low, so Ji Yu Fen and Shui Wushuang didn't have much hostility. Can I ask what's going on here? Shen He looked harmless. Asked curiously. You don't know anything, so you just wasted an opportunity to come to Alcatraz Island. Ji Yu Fen said with some hatred that iron cannot become steel. What a waste. Unexpectedly, 
just after the transfer, an invitation letter was used. Many things in the Alcatraz Island trial shop are invisible to the outside world. Wooden huts like this are common trial sites on Alcatraz Island. Of course, there are other forms. You can get points by participating in the trial. Although the force it is not the only criterion for determining the outcome of a trial, but without force, you will be at a disadvantage in many situations. Ji Yu Fen casually gave Shen He and the others a few words. Just treat it as small talk. Just when Shen He was still trying to ask for more information. There were two more people in the room. Also a man and a woman. Wei Dao LV 52. Zhang Shuhua LV 50. The two newcomers sat on the side. Ding, the number of people has reached the activation requirement, and this trial begins. The system's beep echoed in the cabin. This trial is, to draw cards in life. Immediately afterwards, there is an introduction to the rules. Card drawing life. At the beginning of each round, a lucky person is randomly selected, and then the lucky person draws a card from the card deck and completes the requirements on the card to obtain points on the card. If the requirements cannot be completed, points will be deducted. Once the points drop below zero points, Alcatraz Island will be expelled. For every point lost, a skill will be randomly deleted, a piece of equipment will be confiscated, or one year of login time will be deducted. Quote. Warm reminder 1. Do not try to do anything that interferes with the trial process, otherwise the consequences will be serious. Warm reminder 2. The conditions for victory in the trial are that the total score of the team is more than 100 points, or there is only one team left. The trial will start in one minute. Players, please be prepared. The system's voice fell. A turntable appeared on the table. Next to the turntable is a stack of cards stretched into a long strip. On the back of the card is a devil with horns and a strange smile. There is a faint black gas emitting from the card, giving people an ominous feeling. However, Shen He was not in the mood to look at these things at this time. Basically, he was shocked by the trial and punishment. Delete skills, confiscate equipment, also deduct time. As for skills, it's nothing. Chen He's three current skills are all quite average. Even if I delete it, I don't feel bad at all. Shield strike skill, I haven't learned it yet because I don't have a good shield in my hand. But if his equipment, his zodiac compass, and several unleveled red ghost weapons were confiscated, it would be a huge loss. And, login time. Although Chen He no longer consumes login time, if the login time is deducted into a negative number, he will still be kicked out of the wilderness. And because I used the Zodiac Guidance skill last time, Shen He now has less than a year to land. It's a bit dangerous. Shen He murmured to himself. It's begun, don't be afraid. A voice rang in Shen He's ears. It's Banksia Chingchong, and her voice is more cheerful. Afraid, there is no word fear in my dictionary, right? Shen He replied. Although he looked calm on the surface, he was actually panicking. Alcatraz deserves to be called Alcatraz. Really cruel. What Chen He and Banksia Chingcheng said were basically to himself. I can pass the perverted trials like the Dragon Ball trials. There's no reason to stumble here. The minute is up quickly. Ding, the card drawing life trial has officially begun, and now begins the first round of selection. The system prompt sounds. The turntable on the table officially started. The pointer on the turntable started to rotate. The eyes of several people on the field were fixed on the turntable. About 10 seconds passed. The turntable pointer slowly stopped. Stopped in front of the lonely grave. In the first round, the person drawn was Goofin. Is it me? Lonely Tomb stood up. He seemed very calm. Ding, please select the player to draw cards. The sound of the system reminded Goofin that it was time to draw cards. The lonely grave stretched out his hand. Run your fingertips across the back of a row of cards. After choosing for a while. Stopped on a card. Goofin drew out the card. As you can see, there is a word 6 written on the upper left corner of the card. In the center of the card are two bright red characters, Duel. Ding, the player has drawn a dual card worth 6 points from his solitary grave. He can challenge any other player to a duel. The winner will receive 6 points, and the loser will have 12 points deducted. I heard it was a duel. Shen He suddenly became calm. Not to mention a level 60 player, even a level 79 player, Shen He felt that he could give it a try. 
He is afraid of being directly eliminated by the rules. Dual card. Ji Yu Fen's eyes swept over the bodies of Shen He, Banksia Qingcheng, Wei Dao, and Zhang Shuhua. He is a level 60 player. Naturally, it is taken for granted that he is the strongest at this time. After looking around for a while, Lonely Tomb designated Wei Dao. Except for himself, it is Wei Dao who has the highest level. Of course he has to be killed first. Shen He and Banksia Qingcheng were ignored by Gufin because of their low levels. I don't know if this is good or bad. Ding, player Gufin faces player Wei Dao, uses the dual card, and the duel begins. Along with the system sound, Ji Yu Fen and Wei Dao disappeared. A screen of light also unfolded in front of the four remaining people. It can be seen that Ji Yu Fen and Wei Dao were entered into an open space without a third person. A dual wielding Dogwan Dao appeared in Lone Fen's hand. It can be seen from the weapons that Gu Fen is either a warrior or a tank. Wei Dao, on the other hand, was wearing a robe and was obviously a mage. Being restrained professionally, coupled with level suppression and equipment suppression. Wei Dao didn't last three minutes at all. He was slashed by Ji Yu Fen, which directly emptied his blood volume. Ding, the player won the game alone and was awarded 6 points. Ding, player Wei Dao failed in the duel. 12 points will be deducted. The current points are minus 12. He will be directly expelled from Alcatraz Island and deprived of skills X3, equipment X6, and login time of 3 years. Wei Dao fell. A total of 12 light groups were forcibly peeled off from his body, flew high into the sky, and were absorbed by the black mist in the sky. It's so miserable. I lost 3 skills, 6 pieces of equipment, and 3 years of landing time. Shen He said with some regret. No wonder this place is called Alcatraz Island. He gave Gu Fen 6 points, but deducted 12 points from Wei Dao. Shen He seriously suspected that a large part of the items in the Alcatraz trial shop were obtained from eliminated players. Of course, now is not the time to think about such things. Because, the second round begins. Ding, the second round begins. The pointer on the table started turning again. The remaining five pairs of eyes were all focused on the final point of the pointer. Finally, the pointer slowly stopped. Pointed to, Zhang Shuhua. That is, the woman who finally came to the cabin with Wei Dao just now. After Wei Dao was killed by Gu Fen, Zhang Shuhua has always stared at the lonely grave with hatred. Ding, the selected player please draw cards. The system prompted. Zhang Shuhua glared at Gu Fen. Without thinking, he took out the top card from the deck. Turn over the cards. There is a one written on the upper left corner of the card. On the card, it says, event, bomb. Ding. Zhang Shuhua drew the event card, the bomb. All players present, starting with Zhang Shuhua, toss a coin counterclockwise. If the coin faces up, it will be passed and one point will be awarded, and the bomb will be passed to the next player. When the bomb explodes, two points will be deducted from the player. The system's voice fell. A coin then appeared in front of Zhang Shuhua. Zhang Shuhua's hands were shaking a little. He grabbed the coin in his hand and threw it into the sky. The coin traced a graceful arc. It landed on the table and slowly stopped. The result was, flower noodles. Zhang Shuyi fell on the table unwillingly. A pair of eyes widened. Two groups of light were stripped out of his body. Ding, the bomb exploded successfully. Player Zhang Shuyi deducted two points. Player Zhang Shuyi deducted two points. Now it is minus two points. Deprived of skills X1 and equipment X1. At this point, both Wei Dao and Zhang Shuhua were eliminated. There were only four teams left, Shen He, Banksia Qingcheng, Ji Yu Fen and Shui Wushuang. Round 3, continue. This time, the pointer points. It fell on, Shen He. Really, I can't hide even if I want to. Shen He looked at the number of pointers pointing to him and seemed a little eager to try. Although I'm a little afraid of something happening. But this unknown excitement made Shen He feel a little excited. Let me see what cards I can draw. Chen He reached out and touched the pile of cards. The backs of all the cards were the same, and Chen He could only choose one from them. Chen He turned over the card. The content on the card made Chen He a little confused. In the upper left corner of the card is the number, 2. Event, reward. Ding, please kiss your female partner for one minute and you will be rewarded with two points. If you cannot complete it, four points will be deducted.
This, Shen He looked at the contents of the card in his hand. I was a little stunned for a while. This content. Gulu, Shen He swallowed. It seems a bit overwhelming. The relationship between him and Banksia Qingchong can be considered as a partnership at best. Let him kiss Lin Miaotong. What's wrong? What's on the card? Banksia Qingchong saw that Shen He was in a different state, so she stretched out her head and came over. Only when she saw what was on the card. Suddenly I stopped laughing. How did it get involved with her? Which, Shen He looked at Banksia Qingchong with some embarrassment. No, it's impossible, don't even think about it. Banksia Qingchong subconsciously denied Sanlian. This is her first kiss. She didn't want to just hand it over in a daze. Still giving it to such a person who has no feelings, not even an acquaintance. Shen He didn't speak, just looking at Banksia Qingchong. Then I will be eliminated. Shen He stated, don't you want one third of the wind's demonic energy? Shen He seemed quite calm as he spoke. Although Banksia Qingchong is very beautiful, Shen He actually has no thoughts about her. At least not before this. Moreover, Banksia Qingchong's character. Really good as a teammate. Demon energy. Banksia Qingchong bit her bright red lips. For a long time, the long eyelashes trembled and flapped. Eyes slowly closed. Good. An almost inaudible syllable spilled out from Banksia Qingchong's mouth. Shen He was also afraid that Banksia Qingchong would regret it. The penalty of randomly losing four pieces of equipment and skills was a bit too harsh, and Shen He couldn't accept it. Immediately, he kissed Banksia Qingchong's bright red lips. Lips meet. Shen He could feel Banksia Qingchong's body trembling slightly. Seems to want to escape. The system requires one minute. He gently held Banksia Qingchong's slender waist to prevent her from walking away, and deepened the kiss. Ding, congratulations on completing the task card, bonus points plus two. Not for a minute did I think that the time was up. Hear the system beep. Only then did Chen He let go of his hand around Banksia Qingchong's waist. The two slowly separated. Banksia Qingchong's cheeks turned red and her eyes were a little blurry. Chen He looked at her and couldn't help but feel something in his heart. Okay, Banksia Qingchong's voice was slightly hoarse. Then he quickly regained his clarity. He glared hard at Shen He. It was just to complete the task. Banksia Qingchong said solemnly. That's what I thought too. Chen He nodded when he heard this. A touch of joy arose in my heart, and a hint of subtle, disappointment. Hearing Shen He's answer, Banksia Qingchong's eyes dimmed slightly. However, this is not the time to care about these things. Whether it was Shen He or Banksia Qingchong, they quickly cleared away the distracting thoughts in their minds. The fourth round has begun. Banksia Qingchong touched her lips and whispered. The pointer started moving again. After about 10 seconds, the pointer stopped. The final destination lies with Banksia Qingchong. It's been a few rounds. Several people present have a sufficient understanding of this game called, Card Drawing Life. Banksia Qingchong directly reached out to draw the card. Turn over the cards. It was a five-point card. Ding, you get a lucky card, you get five points directly, and you designate the person who will draw the card in the next round. The system prompt sounds. Several people present showed expressions of envy and surprise. No one is lucky. Not only is there no task, but points are obtained directly, and you can also designate the next draw card. Specify the opposite side, Shen He said immediately. Um. Banksia Qingchong snorted, then he threw the card in his hand towards the lonely grave. Ding, the player Banksia Qingchong has designated the player's solitary grave for the next round of card drawing. Banksia Qingchong listened to Shen He's suggestion. Designate the lonely grave to draw cards. I didn't expect that the final opponents would be you two. Goofin sighed with emotion. Calmly, he started drawing cards. He randomly drew a card from the card pile. Then put it in front of your eyes and look at it. When he saw the content of the card, the corners of Goofin's mouth couldn't help but rise. It looks like it's coming to an end. Ji Yu Fen glanced at Chen He and Banksia Qingchong. Showed the cards in his hand. A 10 point card. Event. Brawl. Ding. Everyone left will start an unlimited battle until the last group of players is left. All winners will get 10 points, and the losers will lose 20 points. Another combat incident. It is also a multiplayer combat event. Yeah, it's about to end. Shen He and Banksia Qingcheng looked at each other with great understanding. 
There was not much panic on their faces. It was as if they didn't take the two goofin people seriously, who were more than 20 levels higher than the two of them. The system's voice fell. Four people disappeared at the same time. When he appeared again, he appeared in an arena. I'm sorry for causing you to lose so much equipment, skills and login time all at once. I blame it on you for daring to go to Alcatraz Island just after reaching level 40. As Ji Yu Fen spoke, he activated his charge skill and crashed towards Shen He and Banksia Qingcheng. The charge skill can cause 1 second stun and 150% attack power physical damage to enemies hit on the path. Advance Warrior Skills Integrate damage, displacement and control into one. Gufen launched an attack, attracting the attention of Shen He and the others. Shui Wushuang, who was behind Ji Yu Fen, raised his staff and a beam of light fell on Ji Yu Fen. A circle of armor can be seen emerging from Lone Tomb's body. Improved defense. Leave this to me and you go deal with the back row. Shen He spoke very fast. Good. Banksia Qingcheng is not a Moji character, so she reaches out and makes a move. A gray mist emerged from the staff. Trembling in the air. Three demons were summoned by Banksia Qingcheng. The three demons are each different and have their own characteristics. One has wings and looks a bit like a bat, one is huge and has a big belly, and the other is shaped like a cockroach and is extremely fast. The three summoned objects rushed towards Shui Wushuang like wolves and tigers. Shui Wushuang was equally unfazed by the changes. The staff in his hand was waved, and a gray light hit the mantis demon. Immediately immobilizes the fastest mantis demon. Then three ice picks passed by, and one ice pick pierced through the body of the mantis demon. The mantis demon's health bar was instantly cleared, and the other two ice picks penetrated the huge demon's abdomen. Two big holes were left. Two of the three demon summons were killed in just one encounter. There was another one that was killed by Ling Kong before it even got close to Shui Wushuang. Bring it on, Shen He clenched the weapon in his hand, as if he was waiting to die. Seeing the lonely grave getting closer and closer to him. When he was about to hit himself. A mortal shield. Chen He activated Dog's Immortality which has the effect of all ghost weapons. A layer of golden light representing invincibility emerged on the body. At the same time, Shen He activated his skills. Continuous beheading. Bite. A crisp voice sounded. Gufin's charge skill collided with Shen He's immortal shield. Immunity. A huge golden font appeared from Shen He's head. All skill damage and control effects. All were given immunity points by the immortal shield for one second. The snake bone gun in his hand hit Ji Yu Fen's body twice in a row. Minus 150. Minus 150. Two three-digit injuries emerged from Lone Fen's head. The two injuries added together didn't even kill 5% of Lone Tomb's health. Preliminary estimates indicate that Lone Tomb's blood volume should be above 6,000 points. Is this all the damage? Although the charge was immune to Chen Yi's invincible skills, Gufen didn't panic at all. On the contrary, the victory is even more certain. You're lucky, I actually have an invincible skill now, but if you use it so early, you probably won't be able to wait until the cooldown of this skill ends. The dog Wan Dao in Gufen's hand was slashed towards Shen He's head. Shen He used to block. Bite. The power of the lonely grave is too great. Shen He was knocked back by Ji Yu Fen's sword. Charge up and hit hard. A bright red number appeared from the top of Shen He's head. Minus 721. After Shen He used his blocking skill to reduce the damage he received by 30%, he still caused more than 700 points of damage to Shen He. A quarter of Shen He's health bar was directly cut off. You know, this is the damage left after Chen Yi's 800 points of defense and 30% damage reduction. Blocking takes effect. Shen He counterattack triggers. Shen He stabbed Lone Fen's armor with a spear. Minus 350. A bright red number emerged from the head of the Lonely Grave. This shot was a lucky one, triggering a critical hit. He directly hit the previous two normal attacks, but there was no critical hit damage in total. Hey, the defense is a bit high. As Ji Yu Fen said, the sword in his hand struck towards Shen He again. A mere 600 points of damage is only one tenth of the blood volume. He can cut off one quarter of Shen He's health with one strike. All are warriors. Blood transfusion is blood transfusion. But Gufin didn't notice. After the third blow struck him, the tip of the snake bone gun in Shen He's hand had turned golden. 
Bite. Both sides exchanged blows. A vacuum blade hit Shen He's body first, and then the broadsword struck Shen He's body. A total of two injuries were caused to Shen He. The golden spear in Shen He's hand struck Ji Yu Fen like a dragon out of the sea. Minus 4000. A high amount of damage directly stunned Gu Fen. The blood volume instantly changed from about 90%, almost full, to only one third. Almost half of the extra blood bar was instantly evaporated by Shen He. Shen He is not feeling well here either. Minus 312. Minus 721. The vacuum blade and the broadsword body caused two injuries to Shen He. The damage of the vacuum blade is about 45% of the main body. Two injuries emerged from Shen He's body, leaving Shen He's health bar only a little over 1000. Plus 49. Plus 49. Every second, a 49 point health recovery appears on Shen He's head. Although the blood recovered is not much, but it made Lone Fen look impatient. Now, he no longer dares to treat Shen He as an ordinary level 40 rookie. Rather, treat them as evenly matched opponents. It can even be said that he was treated by a powerful enemy. It's just that I realized it a little late. Who are you? Lonely Tomb looked extremely frightened. He took out a bottle of medicine in his hand and poured it into his mouth. A green number emerged from the head of the Lonely Grave. Plus 200. The Solitary Grave recovered 200 health points. But this little life value is not enough for a lonely grave. It's almost like a drop in the bucket. Curse of life. Do you still have the forbidden healing effect? Goofin became furious. An advanced life potion that can restore 1000 health points at one time can only restore 200 health points, and the therapeutic effect is directly cut by 80%. For the enemy, Shen He has never been used to it. Continuous beheading. Shen He fired two shots in succession towards Goofin can be seen. The defense increasing buff on Lone Tomb's body has disappeared. Minus 456. Minus 456. Two injuries jumped out of Goofin's body. He actually hit two critical hits in a row. It's actually normal. Chen He's current critical hit rate is a full 60%, and the probability of two consecutive critical hits is not low. I'll fight you. Goofin watched as his health bar was cut off again. The fear in my heart has reached its peak. This is a life and death battle, and there is no such option as surrender. A piece of equipment on his body exploded directly. A cloud of blood mist formed, surrounding Goofin. This made Lonely Fen's attack speed speed up a lot. Bite. The knife struck Shen He. Shen He didn't have time to parry and took all the damage. Minus 854. With one strike, Shen He was beaten until only his bloody skin was left. Plus 16. A pitiful blood-sucking recovery number jumped on Lone Tomb's head. He still has the curse of life effect attached to him by Shen He. The recovery effect is reduced by 80%. The blood-sucking effect, which was originally a percentage, is only 20%, which is 16 points. There are not as many health points as Shen He's self-recovery. Goofin's life was once again cut by Shen He. It's a pity. This time there was no critical hit. Only a little over 200 points of defense were achieved. But Shen He's snake bone gun at this time. It has turned golden brown. The passive accumulation of Dragon Fury three times is completed. Next shot, Dragon Fury strengthens basic attack. At this time, Shen He and Ji Yu Fen were both on the killing line. It's obviously about to die. But at this time, Shen He was quite confident. There is absolutely no fear of the disastrous situation that may arise if you fail. It's not that Shen He has a big heart, but because Dog's Immortality's active skill, Immortal Shield, has been cooled down. Goodbye, Senior Goofin, thank you for the information you provided before. Shen He's eyes sparkled with incomparable confidence. The Golden Spear shot towards the Lonely Grave. Immortal Shield. An invincible golden light shone on Shen He's body. At the same time, a golden light representing invincibility also appeared on Lone Fen's body. At this moment, both sides were a little confused. Have you ever used your invincibility? Lonely Tomb looked a little dumbfounded. Didn't this guy's invincible skill say he just used it just now? Why so fast? Boom, Chen He's Dragon Fury was passive and hit Ji Yu Fen's body. But he was immune to the invincibility state. Gu Fen's slash also fell on Chen He's head. Also immune to the invincible state. 
It is equivalent to saying that the wave of damage just now was all in vain. Both of them looked surprised. What surprised Shen He was that the other party actually had invincible skills. What surprised Gu Fin was that Shen He had more than one invincible skill. There is more than one invincible skill. In addition, there is something even more surprising to Gu Fin. It was obvious that he activated the invincible skill at about the same time as Shen He. The invincible light on him disappeared. Shen He's invincible state was still there. This was the moment when Ji Yu Fen's invincibility disappeared. From the palm of Shen He's hand, a thick burst of energy spurted out. Dragon Blast. The terrifying energy beam instantly engulfed Gu Fen's figure. His body completely melted. Minus 40,000. A terrifying damage figure emerged from the head of the lonely grave. His health bar was instantly cleared. A total of 20 light groups of various colors flew out from the energy light group shot by the dragon blast. Flying towards the void above your head. Shen He grabbed a handful subconsciously. But the hand slipped through the ball of light. These light groups were not meant for him to capture at all. It's over. Let's take a look at Banksia Chingchong. Shen He's eyes turned around. At a glance, Banksia Chingchong saw a dagger in her left hand. She stretched out her hand and stabbed the dagger into Shui Wushuang's chest. This is to unlock the secondary weapon area and equip it with a dagger. Shui Wushuang was sent away by Banksia Chingchong. Ding, you have completed the event card, Brawl, and you will be rewarded with 10 points. Ding, congratulations to your team for winning. All surviving team members will receive a 100-point reward. Two consecutive voices sounded in Shen Yi's ears. He received two awards. One is the reward for completing the event, and the other is the reward for completing the trial. Total 110 points. Including Shen He's previous two points, Shen He now has a total of 112 points. As for Banksia Chingchong, her points are slightly higher than Shen He's, with a full 115 points. It is three points higher than Shen He. This trial is over. Shen He felt like his eyes were blurred. In the blink of an eye, we arrived at the strange forest from before. Banksia Chingchong is not far from him. It's a pleasure to work with you. It's so easy to get over 100 points. Banksia Chingchong said feeling slightly relaxed. Simple. Why do I feel like it's not simple at all? Shen He complained. I had previously drawn the card of kissing my female companion. What if my teammate is a man? Of course, Shen He probably had this option because Banksia Chingchong was his female companion. Moreover, if you look carefully, you can find that there are three teams, one male and one female. This may not be a coincidence. The cards were piled up at that time, and there might be a bunch of interactive projects between men and women. Of course, this is just Shen He's guess. As for whether it is true or not, Shen He cannot be sure. Want to take a break? Banksia Chingchong asked casually. Need not. Then go ahead. Alcatraz Island will only be open for three days. Banksia Chingchong said enthusiastically. Good. Shen He nodded and said nothing. Inadvertently, the two looked at each other. Then quickly put it aside. No one mentioned the previous kiss, so it was treated as if it never happened. Quite, tacitly, the two continued to explore forward. It didn't take long. Careful. Chen He suddenly made a sound and stopped Banksia Chingchong. Although Banksia Chingchong didn't find anything, but he still stopped. Follow Shen He's gaze and look to the side. You can see a humanoid creature approaching here. It looks a bit like the demon she summoned. It's just that the size is much larger. And, he chased the two people with clear goals. Shen He is also very nervous now. The dragon explosion skill has just been used, and it will take an hour before it can be used again. If you encounter a more difficult monster again, Shen He felt that his output might not be enough. The humanoid monster was getting closer and closer. Chen He and Banksia Chingchong were finally able to see clearly the specific appearance of the humanoid monster and the levels on its head. This is a giant that looks like a lizard and is about 4 to 5 meters in size. Above the head is a line of small bright red characters. Executioner LV. Behind the Executioner. Carrying a huge axe on his back. Ding, you encounter the executioner. If you are caught by the executioner, you will lose all points and be expelled from Alcatraz Island. Warm reminder, the executioner cannot be killed. The system's beep sounded in Shen He's ears. Shen He's desire to fight was instantly extinguished. Run, Shen He immediately shouted. 
Wen Chen he shouted. As soon as he glanced out of the corner of his eye, he saw Banksia Qingcheng running towards the side. Chen He's reminder seemed a bit redundant at this time. Shen He was preparing to catch up with Banksia Qingcheng. Don't run with me. Run in other directions. It can only chase one at most. Banksia Qingcheng said. Good. After Shen He was stunned for a moment, he immediately changed direction. Escape in the opposite direction to Banksia Qingcheng. Banksia Qingcheng is right. There are two of them, and the executioner can only chase one at most. If they run separately, there is a half chance that they will not be chased by the executioner. Don't be me, don't be me. Shen He quickly ran forward. At first, there were no footsteps coming from behind. Shen He thought he was safe. The execution beast went after Banksia Qingcheng. You can't blame Chen He for this. It was the execution beast who chose to chase Banksia Qingcheng, and it had nothing to do with him. But it took less than three seconds to stop and rest in Shen He. The sound of heavy footsteps came from behind. Let Shen He's sense of luck gradually sink. As expected, the executioner chose to chase him instead of Banksia Qingcheng. Too bad luck. Shen He ran and glanced back. Sure enough, the executioner was chasing after him. But it seems that this executioner is a lot smaller than when Shen He saw it before, and is now only over 3 meters tall. In fact, both Banksia Qingcheng and Shen He were wrong. When the execution beast discovered that Shen He and Banksia Qingcheng were now running away separately, it cracked directly on the spot and turned into two. One of them chased Banksia Qingcheng. The other one chased Shen He. We have to find a way to get rid of this thing or get rid of it. With that said, Shen He could start looking for a way to escape. Killing the executioner is impossible. What's more, Shen He doesn't have the dragon explosion ultimate move now. Just when Shen He was thinking about how to escape, a pavilion-like building appeared in Shen He's field of vision. Same as the previous cabin. It conflicts a bit with the surrounding environment. At this time, Shen He couldn't think about anything else. He immediately adjusted his direction and rushed towards the pavilion. When Shen He approached the pavilion, suddenly, it felt like the ground beneath my feet was empty. His whole body seemed to be falling from a high altitude. There is no way to borrow money at all. Another blink of an eye. Chen He found himself sitting in front of a round stone table in a pavilion. On both sides of Chen He, and on the opposite side, there was a person sitting. Chen He understood that he seemed to be involved in some trial again. Really, the next moment, the system prompt sounded in Chen He's ears. Ding, everyone is here, the trial 1234 begins. Trial Rules Everyone has 1234 4 cards. There are 4 rounds of the game. Each round can produce 1 card. The card with the highest score can get the total score of all cards that are less than its own score. If there are more than 1 card in 1 round, if there is 1 highest score, the lower scores will be divided equally among the multiple highest scores. Or, you can choose 1 versus 3 and kill 3 other players. Listen to the system beeps. Shen He was still thinking about the rules of the game. It feels like it's complicated. There are a lot of places worth gaming in it. But when Shen He heard the second victory condition, suddenly my heart was shocked. This is good, totally within control. It's not that Shen He likes this murderous option. But when it comes to playing games, the uncontrollability is too high. Chen He suddenly raised his head and swept it over the heads of the other three people. A middle-aged man with wrinkles on his face. Meng Jianjun LV 72. A man in his 30s. Waihushin LV 63. There is also a long-legged beauty who looks very royal. Dream LV 56. The level of the three people is higher than Shen He. Moreover, the level distribution of several people is very interesting. Shen He has a level 40, then a level 50, a level 60, and a level 70. Only level 40. Just turned around. The long-legged lady who looked very mature was the first to notice Shen He's level. He seemed a little surprised. With only such a low level, you actually dare to come to Alcatraz Island. Although there are various rules here, force is not a necessary condition for victory. But enough force can break the rules. Just like this trial. If someone chooses one on three, they can ignore the original trial rules. The long-legged sister has not yet finished her words. Then she heard a voice she didn't want to hear. Ding, player Meng Jianjun chooses 1v3, 
the battle will officially start in 30 seconds. The system voice sounded. Meng Jianjun, who was at level 72, saw three levels of opponents. One is over level 60, one is over level 50, and one is just over level 40. If you don't use force, do you still have to play with the rules? The main reason is that Shen He's level is too low. Prompted his idea. If Shen He nodded and was above level 70, Meng Jianjun would definitely not dare challenge a level 70, a level 60, and a level 50 opponent at the same time. If Shen He is level 60, with two opponents at level 60 and one at level 50, Meng Jianjun might not dare. It's a bit daunting to fight, after all, the number of people is there. It's not an empty statement that two fists can't beat four hands. Kei Shen He is a level 40 rookie who has just completed a round. In the eyes of veteran players above level 70 like Meng Jianjun, he can't even be considered an opponent. It's the kind that can be cleared easily. So, Meng Jianjun started one on three without hesitation. The 30 second countdown begins. Wei Hushan, Kaimong, and Chen He all retreated. Keep a distance from Meng Jianjun. Kid, what's your profession? Can you help us? The long legged royal sister Kaimong asked. A dagger appeared in her hand. I'm a warrior, you can also say a tank. Don't count on him. Wei Hushan said. He was very unfavorable to Shen He, who was only level 40 and had just turned around. Shen He scratched his hair. There wasn't much time, and he didn't intend to explain anything. Let's speak with strength. Another point is that the cooling of the dragon explosion in my hand is not good. That's why Shen He hesitated and didn't immediately choose one on three. Just hesitated for a moment. The option of one-on-three -on -three combat was chosen by a man whose ID was Meng Jianjun. So much so that Shen He now feels a little regretful and a little lucky. In short, it's a bit complicated. Just like kissing Ban Sha Qingcheng before, I was secretly happy to have a kiss with Fangs, and I was ashamed of Lin Miaotong. Ahem, this kind of thing is not humane. 3, 2, 1. 30 seconds, it's up very quickly. Kaimong instantly entered a state of invisibility. Waihu Mountain is like a sword in one's hand. A ray of holy light descended from the sky. Waihu Shen gave himself a layer of enchantment. This move gave Waihu Shen a layer of transparent shield on his body. There is also an extra shield bar on the health bar. Suffer death. Meng Jianjun holds a sledgehammer in both hands. It hit Wei Hushan's body. In Meng Jianjun's eyes, level 62 Waihu Shen is the most threatening one. As long as the level 62 Waihu Mountain is solved, the remaining two will be better than the other. Boom, Meng Jianjun's hammer had just been raised and hit Wei Hushan's body. The huge force directly shook Wei Hushan's body back several steps. The transparent shield on Wei Hushan shattered instantly. The shield bar on his health bar disappeared instantly, and even his health bar collapsed by about a quarter. And, what's even more awesome is, because of the shock reduction effect, Waihushan's attack directly failed. Meng Jianjun was not hit. After a successful blow, Meng Jianjun suddenly raised his hammer and stepped back to parry. Sure enough, I heard a ding sound. The hammer parried the shadow breaking blow launched from behind by Kaimong, who was in the invisible state. Kick out, kicked Kaimong out. Whether it's numerical values, combat techniques, or combat experience, Meng Jianjun is far superior to Wei Hushan and Kaimong. Shen He's attack also arrived at this time. Ding ding. Two consecutive blows hit Meng Jianjun's body. However, it didn't do any damage at all. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.